to haircuts. We are in matching outfits. That's how you know it's gonna be a good day and a good vlog because we are on our way to a little staycation here in Florida. This time we are going to Tampa for about two days. We do a little staycation before like the summer gets crazy and everything like that, which we had done about a year ago, which was about a year, or a year, about Whatever. a month and a half um, into dating. We did a staycation um, in like Jupiter area and now we're gonna do another one in Tampa. So we have uh, rented a little um, Verbo for the next like two days. Um, which Verbo is like Airbnb, but it's just like a different company. Um, is it a house or what is it? Is it a, it's a condo? A condo um, that we rented in Tampa, like right on the bay. Um, but we mapped out um, a bunch of cute places to check out in the area while we're there. So we're gonna check a bunch of those out today, and then tomorrow is gonna be a day to kind of like hang by the beach and they like, really relax. Um, and like stuff like that. I think we're gonna go to Clearwater for that, so we're not really gonna be at the Verbo very often, but um, I'm very excited, and are you excited? Oh boy, oh boy, and so we're heading over there now. It's really great, because Tampa always seems so far, but it's literally like an hour away, so it's very close by. Um, we're gonna start off, it's like 11 a.m. now, and we're gonna go have brunch at this place that I remember hearing about in college. It's called Oxford Exchange. It's like a restaurant, but also like a little shopping art thing. I really don't even know what it is, um, but I'm, yeah, kind of like a co-op, I guess. So like uh, a bunch of my friends in college would go there when they do a little trip to Tampa. So we're gonna check out that and then continue on with our day. So let's get started. Oh, it's a Wednesday on a random week. Like, why would anything be busy? Like, psh, colleges like already had their graduations the past two weekends. And little did I know, it's apparently high school graduation today at some high school nearby. So it was very busy. And when we went to see if they had a table available or anything, they said their next table wouldn't be available till 1.30 and it was like, it's like noon and now Nicole's like I'm not waiting that long and I was like this like pissed at myself because I literally could have made a reservation but I figured it wasn't gonna be busy so like I was like oh it's probably gonna be dead like we'll just walk in they're gonna be fine and so we walked around a little bit it's cute but there's not like enough to do for like an hour and a half to kill time so we are walking to some other um, Hello. some other brunch place that's nearby but um yeah it just looks so cute in there like the little like um outdoor patio type of like place oh it was so cute I'm pissed I'm pissed at myself like it's fully my fault uh so but we're gonna go head off to find some brunch Town for brunch. We found this cute little place. It wasn't very far of a walk. It's called um, the Attic and Attic Cafe, and it's really on like the fourth floor of this building, like overlooking the building. So there's people like gardeny, like, rooftop type of place. So that's where we're sitting. Um, we're gonna do some bottomless mimosas. The, the lady is so nice. She's like, yeah, it's per person, but like if you want to share, like, go oh, I'm not gonna watch. And she's like, I'm not gonna watch. So I'm like, okay. So she complimented us on our outfits because we were matching. Like, I love it. So we're gonna have some brunch because we are starving and enjoy the All right, we have finished our brunch. Bottomless mimosas, and oh, we're feeling it. But Cole does not want to walk 
back to the car, which I don't even know how many blocks it is. So he decided that he wants to rent one of those scooters they have around the city and drive back to the car, which I wasn't the biggest fan of because I'm like, that just seems dangerous to me and having two of us on a scooter. But I guess we're gonna do it. So it's gonna be a, a time. I'm ready to get a freaking nap. Oh. Your face is being like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that was terrifying. It was awesome. We made it in seven minutes rather than 20 oh. for four dollars. That was very scary with two people and traffic. Traffic. But we figured it out. Oh my god. I'm ready for a nap and then we're gonna head 30 minutes to this cute little hydroponic farm in St. Pete and begin the adventures there. Turns out I'm not the best trip planner um, for this. So we stopped at Brick Street Farms, which it's pretty cool. It's a locally like grown uh, um, kind of like farm. They make like produce and all different types of like stuff with that. Um, and we thought, or I thought you could like kind of tour the farm area, like where they're growing the plants. Cause that's like, I just saw like a bunch of pictures like of, but it turns out like you really can't. And they do a lot in like shipping containers and they're gonna be putting them like across like central Florida, like so people can get like locally grown produce and not have to like ship things and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool, the lady was telling me all about it. Um, but I really wish we could like see the farm. Um, so there really wasn't like much to look at. Like it was just like a small little like shop, but we went across the street to Three Daughters Brewing, which um, I think we've tried their stuff before because they have it at Epcot, like at the different festivals. So I think we've tried some of their ciders or whatever there, which it's a pretty big brewer a brewery and they have like games and um, a bunch of stuff like that. But it also just turns out that at three o'clock they were, um, they had a private event that they were like, taking up the whole like warehouse or whatever for and it's like 345 and we didn't realize the time it was so we were kind of like kicked out of that space and it's really hot outside so it's just like I don't know wasn't worth it for us to like stay but they had a whole like arcade and board games and everything it was a pretty cool space if you can go when they don't have an event but we are gonna head to the St. Pete Pier now and kind of hang around there where I'm sure they won't be closed for private events. Don't uh, jinx it. And, yeah, you're right. And it's open container over there so we can kind of walk around and do whatever. And we'll kind of end our night there and then eventually head over to our Verbo and relax for the night. And, and yeah, I mean, I'm still having fun. Mm-hmm. Those mimosas felt nice. Really jump started the day. Yeah, I'm... You got a power nap. Yeah, I had a, a power nap. I was knocked mm -hmm. out. I honestly thought that you were almost dead. I was worried for a second. So, <sighs> I tried to wake you up three times. No response except breathing. I was so comfy. Physically, you know, moving you and shaking you with nothing. Not having a... <laughs> nothing at all. <I'm> just... <laughs> all right, let's head to the pier and end our first night. Playground? No. Come on. All right, five minutes. We bought a pet. It's the cutest thing I've like ever seen in my life. And it's gonna live in Cole's car. What floor do you want? I don't know. I don't know what floor these are on. The floor. Look at our pet. I'm getting on the pocket. <gasps> Look at how cute he is. 
He's from Ecuador. I was handmade in Ecuador. I couldn't pass it up. It was so cute. It's gonna live on the, the dash of Cole's car. I couldn't pass it up and I paid for it. <laughs> yeah. Now every time he sees it and he drives, he'll be happy. Thank oh. God I have her out there also. I would never think of you. head to our Verbo and have some time to relax. We've been out in the sun, in the heat all day, so I think it was time to just kick back, relax a bit, and maybe we'll get something to snack on or eat later on in the day, but I'm ready for some air conditioning and to just lay in a bit. All right, we made it to our Verbo. This place is so much bigger than I thought it would be. It's freaking cute so let me take you on a little tour as you enter you have this room right here that goes to the bedroom little tv on the wall and there's a dresser in the closet and stuff like that that's that and you go down here you've got the bathroom which colds in there now but it's got like a shower tub sink all that stuff and then you have some like um, shower necessities in here. Um, then you come down here. We got the little like kitchen living room area. So they got a full kitchen that's stocked with like pots and pans and dishwasher, all that type of stuff. And pull out couch if necessary, TV. And then we've got a little balcony, some seats that overlook. The water the the bay we're not gonna spend that much time here um because we're gonna be gone like at the beach all day tomorrow um but freaking cute and i don't know why we chose verbo over airbnb it might have just been cheaper um i mean we didn't have as many fees and stuff like that but i like it so far i think it's really cute and i'm gonna steal all of those cake cups and all that type of stuff after a much needed couple hours of relaxation which involved rinsing off a outfit change and a couple episodes of the office. couple episodes of the office in bed we are finally heading out to dinner um it's like 8 30 now yeah, look, uh, our room. <laughs> and um, we're just going to this little like tiki bar and grill type of place um that's like literally five minutes down the road um looks like it's gonna be cute we think we can see it from our um room um which it looks like it has like fire pits and like chairs out on like the beach area. So I think it should be cute to um, just kind of relax for the rest of the night and we'll get up tomorrow and start a beach day. This is the life. Mm. Good morning, everyone. It is morning. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. All right. It's our next day. Um, we just checked out of our Burbo um, and packed everything up and we are going to start heading to Clearwater, which is only like 30 minutes from here, um, just right over the bridge basically. So we're going to head over there and have our little beach day. Um, it's kind of overcast right now, but hopefully it's going to clear up for the rest of the day. It should be in like the 90s, so it should be pretty nice weather. But we are going to head to Publix to grab some pub subs, which is like the perfect beach lunch. So we're going to have some subs there. Um, we get some more ice to have our drinks be cold and everything. And then my dumb self realized this morning that we didn't bring our beach blanket with us. We just have like our towels, which I mean can suffice, but I really want to be on a beach blanket so I'm not just like laying on towels and we have more space. So we might have to pick up another beach blanket because it's gonna bother me even though I really don't want another beach blanket because we don't go to the beach that often but um but when we do 
we will be set. We'll be set. Um, so you might be picking up at the beach blanket before we hit the beach, but yeah, it's gonna be our cute little. Oh, I'm tired. Um, our cute little relaxing day on the beach. We slept in very late. The latest I've ever seen you asleep in a bed. Yeah, we had to check out by 11, and like it was like. 10 o'clock he's like you need to get up out of bed <laughs> and I usually am like wide awake by like 7 30 and like can't fall back asleep but I was snoozing I was like it's vacation we are sleeping in um I don't even know what time we went to bed to be honest you passed out unconscious at like 11 p.m I don't know nice so all right we're off to clear water Okay, we got our pub subs and everything there, but we will be making a little pit stop that we passed. Somebody saw balloons at a familiar place called Buff City Soap. There's and a new so Buff City Soap means... opening today in Clearwater that we just passed. Like, and I'm like, we gotta go. Like, we we gotta go just to see what's going on. Like, let me guess. They have soap. They do. Um, They'll probably have different local scents. Though. Yeah, that's true. We can smell that. And then I still have a little bit left on a gift card. That's right. And um, I'm just like, they are doing the like free soap for a year type of thing. But obviously, we're not going to do that. It might already be done by for today. It's only but, 50 people. So. Yeah. Um, and we're not coming to Clearwater every month to get more soap. So, um want to see like what samples they might give out or like what they're doing what their store looks like and yeah but I think we should put on a like a personality of like we have no idea what this is oh and boy. like and just like what is soap no just like just like oh, we just saw the balloons that like, we were in town like we wanted to know what this was and, and just see what happens and we're gonna be filming so like that might be a little suspicious but I think it'll be fun Okay, we made it into Buff City Soap. I kind of tried to put on like a, like a, a, a fake they, story. They liked my story. Oh, good. Um, we entered their little giveaway. They did. It had a bunch of stuff. And then they gave out free little, um, this one is a soap whip in one of our favorite scents. And then uh, Cole got a, uh, the body butter. And, which you've never tried their body, body butter before. Um, but then we go in and of course they're like, all up on you like do you have any questions like have you been here before and i tried to put on a personality of like oh no we've never we've never like been in one of these we've like, seen them but we've never gone in and then so she's like telling us all about it or whatever and then uh then cole's like how are you gonna use your gift card if you've never been here before and i was like shoot you're right then some other girl comes up to us and says, if you've been here and i was like oh we've um we've never been to this location but we're from orlando and there's a bunch over there and i was like oh, now my stories don't line up and but so then i was too pressured to buy anything because i was afraid of getting caught but which it doesn't matter but like so we just took home these and we're gonna head to the beach so let's go we got our beach set up we got a new blanket and set up shop and it's very crowded but the weather is very nice because it's not it's like cloudy but like you're still gonna get the uv rays and everything it's not sweltering hot ah. yeah all right we are on the road headed back home i didn't really film a lot while we were at the beach because we were on the beach and it, there's not much to film but overall it was a really good day we honestly couldn't have asked for better weather um we both got some color we're a little burnt but it'll toasted. be okay it'll be okay toasted. we're toasted um but it was it was a good time and we got some ice cream had some food now we're gonna head back home take a nice well-deserved shower and just like pass out for the night and i'm very excited about it so Thank you all for following along with our little staycation. As always, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date on our latest content. You can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok at bgraf100 to stay up to date on the content there. And we will see you next week, Thursday at 6 p.m.